Hi Julie Watts here, welcome to my YouTube channel. So uh, we are looking at Sentimentally Yours and we're looking at the brand new festive collection for 2024. And um, I've got some other videos on my YouTube channel for you um, showing you different variations on how to use the frames. And uh, this is going to be one of them. So rather than using the frame just as a bog standard rectangular frame, we're going to make it into a square because you can. So um, there are three fancy frames in the collection. Uh, this is the poinsettia and it's a rectangular frame and it comes with the Merry Christmas uh, sentiment. And um, both the frame and the Merry Christmas have got mats and layers. It also comes with a magnetic sheet, an A5 magnetic sheet, and I always stick mine to the packaging so I know exactly what I should be having on my sheet. We're also going to be using the Festive Point Setters 2, which is an A6 die set. There's 10 dies in this set. And this is, again, brand new for this year. You'll find them over on my website, juliawattscrafts.co.uk. And you'll also find them over on Phil's store, which is honeypotcrafts.co.uk. So let's start with our frame. We can be gluing stuff down. So let's show you how to cut it. There is a video where I've done it and shown you how to cut it, but we'll do it again just for the purposes of this. So if you just cut this middle die out, then you get this. This beautiful poinsettia frame with deboss detail. And this is the new gold mirror card from the Sentimentally Yours. So you can see that beautiful deboss detail. And this mirror card cuts like a dream. Um, it is really good quality, as you'd expect from Mr. M. Now, you can do the um, a backer. So the backer will actually fit nicely with the frame, leaving you a nice mat and layer for it. So to do that, what I recommend you do is you take your outer die, obviously, um, cutting edge face down and actually tape it to your card then you pop in this one, this one. then you pop in the decorative die so that everything's got a nice little border around the edge then you pop in your inner die again so that you've got your border Make sure everything's lined up so everything you've got your border right and then you tape down this inner die in a couple of places then what you can do is because it's all taped you can lift out that inner die and you know that the spacing's right or as near as it can be to get a nice spacing and everything properly there otherwise if you don't if you just do it by eye you might have it so that it's like that and that's not going to be right is it or you might have it so that you know it's it's like that and you'll find that you've got a smaller um um sort of layer here than you have here so just do it that way because it, it works it works for me anyway so hopefully it'll work for you so what we're going to do now is we're going to stick it down but we're not going to stick the frame part we're only going to stick the poinsettia part down I'm just using sentimentally yours glue you could of course if you wanted to cut it out a double-sided adhesive sheet but of course once that's down it's down it's, it's not very forgiving whereas your glue you've got a little bit of maneuver time we are going to cut, stick the frame down up until where the poinsettia is and all the inner bits Don't need loads of glue, less is more. This one. Don't worry if you've got excess because we can tap it off on the kitchen roll. It is mirror card, so mirror card obviously once you've got a little bit of glue on there, it can be a little bit look a little bit dodgy. But once it's dry, you can work with an, an adhesive eraser to remove any excess glue. It does still work with the uh, mirror card, but you need to buff it up afterwards. Let's just bring it down to where the poinsettia is. 
which is slightly different to how I've done the, the, the original one, but that's fine. So let's take a card here. And we're just going to dab it off. So we've got rid of the excess. Not putting glue on the frame does mean you can actually pick it up, which is quite handy. We've got a little bit of manoeuvre time and we'll give it a press. Okay, so we're going to just give that a minute or two just to, to stick. And I'm going to show you what I've done with my backgrounds. I'm doing a, what am I doing? I'm doing an eight by eight card on this one. So this is quite a biggie. I've got lots of layers on this. So for my background, I'm using the uh, Tailor Made Journals Christmas Plaid. Now this uh, paper pad actually sold out really quickly. Uh, so Creative Expressions had to order some more in. I've got some more stock in and it is a really nice paper pad. It's it's not, um, the PSN isn't like um, Bill's paper pads, but the, the um, actual designs on it are really quite useful and it get, they go with the, you know, your gold mirror card and they go with your greens and your reds and, and, and whatever. And you get um, 25, 24 double sided sheets. There are six unique designs and four sheets of each. And because they're double sided, it does mean that you can, um, you've actually got, I suppose, two of each that you use. So we've got obviously the background one here. We've got uh, like Christmas pine trees on here. Um, and then you've got your plaids. I can't remember where I took mine from. So we've got snowflakes. Little, they're a little bit grungy. That's the one I've used. No, it's not similar to the one I've used, but it isn't the one I've used. It's got stars on that one. That's the one I've used. Snowflakes on that one. And then we're back to the repeat. There's there's like, um, can you see the holly leaves on that? Let's hold it up so you can see. Just don't see the holly leaves on that. It is, it's really nice. Um, so I would recommend that. It is, uh, I think it's 150 GSM. Yeah, 150 GSM and it's acid free. So you can use it in your scrapbooks and your memory books. That. So here, what I've done is I've, I've got one eight by eight piece of, of paper and I've cut it with the debossed double stitched squares from Mr. M. Then I've got pure white card. Then I've got the, the new gold mirror card. Then I've got um, the uh, imperial red luster card. And what I did was when I cut this out, I cut this in the center of the eight by eight paper pad. So it means that I've actually managed to get my matting layer for the back out of the same piece because I've gutted that eight by eight piece. <clears throat> so I've been really frugal with it because it's paper, I paid for it. I wanna make sure that I get my best money out of it. Right, so what I, what I thought we'd do is, I've got a frame. Let's get rid of the excess on this. A, an emery board or these little tools from Woodware is really good to tidy up any bits that you've got on a frame. Where it's you know when it cuts and the fibers actually um are still hanging around your frame this kind of tidies it up nicely i use mine all the time this is going to go in the middle to set it off and then what you do with your frame i'll put it on the glue why did i put it on the glue we're going to do is we're going to just cut the frame to the point set here it is through two pieces of card so it's a little bit dodgy don't worry about how it looks like so that's 
on this. There's another piece. And we've actually got these fall away pieces here as well. So you could use these on another project as corners, obviously trim them down so that they actually um, fit. But you can actually use them as corners. Um, let me show you. They'll be quite effective. So, you know, you don't have to throw them away. You can keep them. Yes, yeah, so this is going in the centre. Now, the original one I did, because obviously you'll need, if you're going to do a square, you'll need four. And the original one that I did, I actually shaped it a little bit more and I actually cut, see, let's see if we've got the exact same one. Yeah, it's the exact same one. And I actually cut, like here, I actually cut into the frame there. Whereas this one, I've, I've left a little bit more of the frame on. That's because I thought to myself originally, I thought, let's just do two corners. So the, the, here's where you, you get some options. So you've got two corners. Like so. I don't know yet. So fiddle around with it until you're in the right position. And then you can stick. Oh, let's strip this down a bit. Your sentiment in the centre like so. So I thought that could be an option. Let's have that straight. So so this is like a plus bonus. So you could do that. I think that looks lovely. Obviously it's not it's a bit skewy. But I think that looks lovely. So that works, doesn't it? You've got a square card from a rectangular um die. But then I thought to myself, hang on a minute, what if we did a full frame? So what you can do is you can actually take your frame like this and this fits on on here so i'll tell you actually which die i used i did the die that measures once it's cut six and a half inches so you can either use the die at six and a half inches or cut your paper at six and a half inches I don't ask me what centimeters is i can't do that and then you want to take the um the bigger one for this corner like that and then you can pop this one here like so it's all skewy this is a trouble when it's not stuck down can you see where i'm getting at make sure your lines rather than meet up so you'll get a square Obviously, it's very colourful at the moment. It's not sort of down, it's a bit skewy. But, and then you've got gaps here. So we can fix those gaps by taking some of the poinsettias in gold. Let's see which one we can use. We don't need that one. So we could put a poinsettia in there like that. And a poinsettia in here. So just add in extra poinsettias. So, where's the other one? Which size do I need? That's a bit skewy, isn't it? Might need a big one up now. I'll find a smaller one in a minute. Anyway, so you can see you can hide your gaps by doing that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause and stick these down because uh, I don't want to see if I can move around with it. And I'll come back to you and I'll show you the next bit. Okay. Okay, so um, I've got my frame stuck down uh, with my uh, frame in the centre. And I've actually managed to get away with only putting five extra gold poinsettias in. Um, so I've got one here, one here one here and then I've got two at the top here so that works quite nicely only having two at the top and one at the round there so it's a little bit too much gold for me so we're going to sort that out in a minute um I've got I thought I'd stick my sentiment down so I've actually cut it out in gold and white and I've got my backer in the imperial red 
So obviously we've got a choice. We can put the white on top of the gold and drop shadow it. Let me show you how that would look. Hopefully. Can you see that? Or we can put the gold on top of the white and drop shadow that. which way I want to do it. I quite like it like that. I might put gold on top of white, so let's do that. There is no right or wrong, there's whatever you want to do really. So we're going to do the scribbling on the craft sheet. roll here, dab off the excess. So yeah, you need to make sure you've got enough glue to stick it, but not loads of glue so it oozes over. Can't really see. Yeah. Hopefully you can see this. I'll drop shadow it. Where they shouldn't be. Always in the way. Always in the way. And then we'll dip that in again. some more glue. Let's just go with that. And that's going to go in the middle like that. Let's just clear up this mess. What would we do without craft sheets? I think craft sheets are probably the best tool ever. on the back of this. This is the Creative Expressions um, double sided adhesive that Sue uses. It's happened to have found some which is quite handy. It's wide. I like it because it doesn't gunk your scissors up. But it is more expensive than regular stuff. But it's very forgiving because if you get it in the wrong place, you can lift it up. And you can stick to more than one piece together if you want a deep piece. We are, we are the right way unless we are opening properly, which is good. Let's pop that in the centre. Like so. I need to get my adhesive eraser on that, I think. Anyway. It's looking good so far, isn't it? But it's a bit too much gold for me. So I think what we'll do is I've got all these poinsettias I've cut in white. And I've gone ahead and shaped them already. Because what we'll do is we'll bring them in and we'll offset them slightly. And we'll add poinsettias 
all of the gold ones or as many as I can actually reach. I think that's a big one. Is that a big corner? That's a big corner as well. Can you see? So, so it will lighten it up a little bit, but we've still got the gold at, at the back. And then we can have sort of where we put... I think they're all the way through, aren't they, really? I'm going to faff around quite a bit. So... Again, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to go and I'm going to stick all these down and then uh, pop the pearl in the centre and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. Okay, so I've managed to get all my white point setters on. Um, there's a couple I didn't get one underneath there and I didn't put one underneath there because it's covered up. So you can see that by offsetting them, it kind of tones down the gold a bit, makes my frame seem more uh, complete and you can't see any of my joins at all. So um, oh, I'm, oh, I might stick a little pearl there actually, I missed one. Okay, so, so I mean, that's it. A square frame from the um, rectangular poinsettia fancy frame. Isn't it pretty? And the pearls I've used are the uh, berry red pearls from Sentimentally Yours, which you can get over at Honeypot. Uh, but the new dies and the beautiful tailor-made um, uh, paper pad, the uh, Christmas plaid, is available on my website. So that's juliawattscrafts.co.uk. And you can find uh, all the Sentimentally Yours products as well over on uh, Honeypot. Um, do like and subscribe if you're not already uh, on my YouTube channel. I love to read your comments and there are lots and lots of videos, especially with this uh, recently with this new uh, festive collection from Sentimentally Yours. Um, so I hope you can uh, give them a watch and um, thank you for watching.